Hi everyone, my name is Mr Barlow and welcome to episode 5 of the VCE Biology Podcast. This episode covers part of Unit 1, Area of Study 1, and I'll be talking about the cell cycle, which includes cell replication or mitosis. So cells are the basic building blocks of all living things, and all cells are derived from other cells. Uh, so a cell can't just pop into existence, so it needs to come from a pre-existing cell. And this happens by a process called cell division. And there are three main types of cell division. The first one occur, occurs in prokaryotic cells, um, and, the, and the first one is called binary fission. Basically what happens there is the DNA, the, the circular DNA in a prokaryote replicates, and then the cell itself splits into two by a process called cytokinesis. And then you've got two cells, and they're both exactly the same. They've both got exactly the same uh, single circular chromosome in it. They're two daughter cells from one parent cell. That's binary fission, and they're identical. The other type of cell division is called mitosis, and that happens in eukaryotic cells. Again, it's cell replication and you end up with two daughter cells which are identical to the parent cell again. Um, we'll go into more detail about that later. And the third type of cell division is called meiosis. That also occurs in eukaryotic organisms, and it's basically when sex cells or gametes are formed. So cellular replication, or mitosis in eukaryotes, is a really important process. So it's really important for the well-being of the organism. It helps it to grow, you grow bigger. It helps it to develop specialized functions. It also helps in maintenance and repair. So, you know, cells are always getting damaged. Um, and so mitosis is a process by which new cells are produced to replace um, any damaged cells or, or any part of the body that needs to be repaired. So yeah, mitosis is really important for the ongoing development of an organism. Now mitosis occurs as part of the normal cell cycle. So the cell cycle can actually be split into two main components. The first one is mitosis, and the second one is called interphase. And then interphase can actually be broken down into another three components. The first one is called the G1 phase, and G stands for growth or gap, and what happens in G1 is obviously the cell grows. The next phase is called the S phase, next phase of interphase. So the S phase stands for DNA synthesis. So in the S phase, the DNA in the cell is replicated or synthesized. So the last stage of interphase is called the G2 phase. And G again stands for growth or gap. And that's basically where the cell um, grows a bit, but also prepares for cell division or mitosis. So that's the cell cycle. It's mitosis and interphase, which can be split into gap one, DNA synthesis and gap two. Now mitosis can actually uh, be broken down into four different components too. So the four different phases are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And if you have trouble remembering those four um, phases, I find a good way to remember them is to use the mnemonic plant many apple trees. So if you can remember the phrase plant many apple trees, then you can remember prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So you know, plant P, prophase. Many M metaphase, apple A anaphase, and trees T telophase. So prophase is the first stage of mitosis. And what happens then is the chromosomes in the nucleus of the cell condense so that they're visible. And the nuclear membrane around the DNA or around the chromosomes breaks apart, so it breaks down. And two organelles called centrioles begin to migrate to opposite poles of a cell and spindle fibers which are you know protein fibers but they're a bit like bits of string they begin to form between the two centrioles. The next stage of mitosis called metaphase is when the centromeres which is the middle part of a chromosome attaches to the two spindle fibers and all of the chromosomes align in a nice straight line uh, along the middle of the cell. The next stage is called anaphase, and this is basically when the chromosomes split into two parts. So each chromosome has, is made up of two chromatids, two identical chromatids, 
and each chromatid splits apart and then moves to each pole of the cell. The last phase of mitosis is called telophase, and this is when the chromosomes have moved to each end of the cell. So you've got um, the same amount of DNA in each end of the cell, and then a two new nuclear membranes, membranes reform around the two clumps of chromosomes at each end of the cell. So that's mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And then what happens is cytokinesis occurs. And basically what happens there is the plasma membrane of the original um, parent cell pinches in in the middle and two new daughter cells are formed. So mitosis starts with one cell and after the end of it, after prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, cytokinesis breaks it into two, into two genetically identical cells. Now, very early on in eukaryotic multicellular development, so, you know, right after the sperm eats the egg, there's not many cells, and all the cells are identical, and they're all replicating quite fast via mitosis, so you end up with more and more cells, but they're all exactly the same. And they're all called stem cells. So these are a very special type of cell. So what a stem cell is, is it's a cell which can become or differentiate to become any other cell. So when you think about a multicellular organism, all the cells aren't the same. So, you know, in humans, we've got some brain cells or neurons. We've got uh, blood cells. We've got muscle cells. We've got liver cells. We've got bone cells and skin cells. We've got a whole bunch of different cell types. But at the start, all the cells are the, are the same. They're all stem cells, and a stem cell can become any cell. And so what happens is for a stem cell to become, to differentiate into a particular type of cell, some of the genes in the cell turn on and some of them turn off, and therefore it differentiates into, into a different type of cell. And um, they're the focus of quite a bit of, of research at the moment. So if cells are always replicating via mitosis, why don't we get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger our whole life? So if we're constantly getting more cells, why don't we keep getting bigger? Well, the reason for this is that cells are always dying too. So cells are always replicating themselves to, you know, maintain and repair the organism, but cells are always dying too. I think a good example which illustrates the fact that cells are always dying is, did you know that um, the vast majority of all the dust in your home is made up of dead skin cells that have fallen off you and your family members? So there's quite a lot of dust that forms in your house every day. Um, ask your mum if he, she does the vacuuming or you if you do the vacuuming. Um, there's quite a lot of dust, but that's all dead skin cells that fall off you all the time. So when, when cells die, they die via a process called apoptosis. And apoptosis is programmed cell death. So cells are actually supposed to die all the time. So they're supposed to replicate uh, when required, and they're also supposed to die too. Unfortunately, sometimes the DNA of a cell will mutate and the DNA won't die when it's supposed to, so it won't undergo apoptosis when it's supposed to. What happens then is basically that cell which won't die is called a cancerous cell. So that cell which doesn't die will replicate, replicate, and, and those new cells won't die, and those cells will replicate, and those cells won't die, and those cells will replicate, and they won't die, and so on and so on and so on. Then you'll end up with a whole bunch of cells, and none of them will die, and that's called a tumor. So basically one way cancer can form is if the DNA of a cell mutates so that the instructions telling the cell to die don't work and that can lead to a tumour. Um, obviously if cells are dying too much and not enough cells are undergoing mitosis and reforming, you can have degenerative diseases. So um, Alzheimer's uh, is an example of a degenerative disease or multiple sclerosis uh, is a de degenerative disease where too many cells are dying and they're not being replaced. So you actually want to have cells um, replicating via mitosis all the time, but you also want to have cells dying via apoptosis all the time, just to make sure your body stays nice and healthy.
And that brings episode five of the VC Biology podcast to a close. It also means we've finished talking about um, unit one, area of study one, cells in action. I'm Mr. Barlow, and thanks very much for listening.